what you have ahead of you is multi-dimensional existence. Right? Who of you remember these multi-dimensional existences? No? That's an indication maybe that you might not have been reincarnated. Changed as well, sort of tiny smidgen. Lots of doubt coming from you. Bit of anger. Yeah. You're right. Remember, all of these emotions are just stuff from inside of you. Does that make sense? You're allowed to have doubts, that's fine, I'm not criticizing. But they're just emotions from within you, that's all. That's okay. If any of you are feeling angry at the things I'm saying, I told you at the start it would be like this. <laughs> Did I not? <laughs> Go so you said multi-dimensional existences? Yes. Okay. They are places of existence where when we pass, we live in. We actually live. There's houses, there's, cre there's beings, creations, animals, plants, everything in these locations. Better than here. Better than here. Um, some of them are worse than here. <laughs> and some are better than here. And we'll talk about why. When God first created the universe, God created one dimensional existence besides the, earth, the physical dimension. And that is the place now known as the sixth sphere. This area here. And that's the sixth dimensional existence. Now, there are now sort of five before that and then many, many after that. And what's happened is that as man has degraded in their condition of love, they created new dimensional spaces that could cope with their de degraded condition. Does that make sense? Yeah. What God created was the potentiality of a dimensional existence <coughs> based around the soul condition of you, your soul condition. And the first person who degraded in soul condition to the fifth sphere created the fifth sphere. Their soul entering it actually created this dimension. And the same goes to the fourth and the third and the second right down to the first. The earth in its condition is equivalent to the first sphere in condition right at the moment. It doesn't have to be, but it is. You've heard of the hells? Who believes there's a hell? That's a lot of you who are very wrong. <laughs> uh, that was challenging, eh? <laughs> uh, Hell's number one, is it? Hell's that you create if you choose There are places that are hell like hells. Yeah, it's a reality though. It is a reality. Many people of your friends have passed into them. You have spirit friends here at the moment who you've brought along with you who are actually living in these places that they call hell. They're all listening, aren't they? They're all listening to, to us now. Yep. Are, you, are you talking about past spirits? I'm talking about people who have lived here on earth and lived a life in disharmony with love. And when they passed, they passed into a place of darkness that they call hell. It's not a burning, fiery torment. It's not what the Bible says, right? But it is a place that they call hell. They feel a sense of torture there. They feel terrible emotions there, right? And many of them have come to speak with us, and some of you who have been to classes that we've had where people have come to speak know that there are a lot of people in those hells. There are lots and lots of people, in fact, in them and not knowing how to get out at the moment. 